Hi everyone, this is Kevin from Texas Yardman and More. I'm out here at my property in the hill country of Texas and I uh, fully completed my uh, water uh, catching system and I put this out here for wildlife, for deer, uh, hogs, uh, any wildlife animal that wants to get uh, rainwater to drink. Uh, I've designed uh, a system here to where it'll collect the water. Um, I just kind of wanted to show you the final product. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's going to do the job. Uh, I've got it probably roughly at a uh, 40 to 45 degree pitch uh, to where uh, when it rains out here the water will hit this um, sheet metal and I've got it uh, directed down towards the water trough that I designed uh, to catch the water and it's basically a plastic 55 gallon drum that's been cut in half I uh, used the jigsaw to do it cost me 20 bucks and I just built uh, a cradle around it uh, there's a lot of great ideas out there on YouTube on how to build these um, I believe I haven't seen any like the one that I built um, but I just want to do a video on this to kind of show you how I did it um, I will probably fill this trough up uh, from some uh, well water that I have here out in the property uh, but I just kind of wanted to show you the frame. Everything is made from 2x4s and uh, I will put the dimensions of everything uh, in the description of my video down below. So if you want to kind of get a rough idea, you can really build this or customize it to any way that you like. This is just how I did it. And uh, I used two and a half inch wood screws and I went to Lowe's and pretty much bought all of this. Uh, you can get these uh, pieces of sheet metal. They're 38 inches wide by 8 feet long. And I've got bars in here that I've installed. It's basically a wrought iron, half inch, and it's threaded. And I've got half inch bolts and washers. And I put those bars in there because we have a lot of wild hogs out here. And I didn't want them to jump in there and uh, just kind of take a bath. So I put those bars in place. I've got two right now. I can uh, install a third if, uh, if I see a problem with it. So uh, right now, just two. And um, it's threaded, so I can adjust these bolts. I really don't need to, uh, these bolts. Um, it, it's probably over two feet wide. You can see down below, I'll try to get in here, get the rods just sticking out. That's all excess rod. I could cut it off, but I just decided to leave it on there. So right now we're looking underneath the sheet metal. And I'll get some footage of the backside here. And I got a cross beam or a cross member there. So you can pick up on it and move it around. It's not too terribly heavy. Uh, I towed this into location with uh, my truck um, and a piece of rope off the ball hitch. Uh, it's, you know, you can move it around by yourself uh, if you're going long distance. So just tow it with a with a uh, a truck or a small uh, ATV or something, uh, riding lawnmower. So I'm kind of gonna see how this works. Uh, I've got no running water out here so I decided to, to build this rain collector and that way the animals will have some water to drink in addition to um, my feeders so I'm out here this is where I deer hunt and I've got a feeder set up here also that uh, I feed periodically throughout the year wildlife come in here we got lots of wildlife and I'm going to set up some cameras just to see what kind of animals are coming in. But uh, water is scarce out here, so uh, rainwater uh, will do the trick. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, uh, feel free to build one for yourself. Uh, if you're in a similar situation as I am where water is limited, 
and you're out in a rural area and you want to collect rainwater, this is a great idea. Um, feel free to comment. Uh, I'll try to answer any of your questions. Uh, but it was pretty, pretty easy to build for the most part. If you have basic woodworking skills, you can do this. So you just need a skill saw, a jigsaw, uh, a drill with some bits, uh, and a tape measure and framing square or some type of square that you can use to get some nice sharp cuts. I'll go ahead and put the dimensions in here. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to be notified of my next video, please hit the notification bell in the upper right-hand corner. Hope you all are having a great day. Take care.